What is it? How far do you plan on throwing that? Uh, about 50, 60 yards. All right, you can't do it sidearm. You're gonna throw out your rotator cuff. You All gotta right. throw it overhand. All right, overhand. Overhand. I'll, I'll get it. Got it. No, 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 no. What was it? I, I threw it overhand like you suggested. You're throwing it overhand, but the way you're standing, you're gonna get tricep spasms. So oh, what yeah. you're gonna do, put your left foot forward and your right foot back, and I'm gonna lead you to the rest. All right. You're gonna lean with your left shoulder, have your right wrist up here, pull your left shoulder back, and put your right, push your right wrist forward like this. All right. Got it? I think I do, that feels a little better. All right, go do it. All right. I'm Joshua Claybill. I'm a physical therapist. What do you think about Joshua? You know, at first I didn't know what to think. This guy following us around, telling us how to move and whatnot. But I can carry more, I can throw further, and at the, end, at the end of the battle, I just don't feel as sore. I'm a believer. I'm a physical therapist. I just happen to have an unorthodox work environment. A lot of times, people come to physical therapy after they've already been injured. So I took it upon myself to help prevent those injuries from ever happening. The people I work with are often in very stressful situations. Times like those, you aren't really thinking about the mechanics of your body. And that's when injury occurs. What I do is accompany them into those situations and think about kinesiology so they don't have to. Sometimes all it takes is a small change. For example, by changing the angle of your hand by 15 degrees when you chop someone's neck, you can decrease pinky fractures by 37%. That's the kind of knowledge I bring. I've worked with Josh a number of times. Let me tell you, it's the best. Knowing that I can charge a machine gun nest, not have to worry about blowing out my knee because he's right there telling me how to do it the best way possible. I can't think of a better way to make sure that I get my mission accomplished. I always wanted to help people. One day when I was 12 years old, the cops were chasing this guy and they finally caught him right outside my front door. As they were wrestling with him, one of the cops sprained his ankle. When I was a kid, there were two things I loved. Hero movies and biology. I spent all my time watching TV and reading books. I learned all about valor and how the body works. When the cop got injured, I knew exactly what to do. I fixed him right up. He said I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. Who would have thought a 12 year old would get to meet? I knew right then and there, I found my true calling. Your back if you keep holding them like that. How did you what? get in here? Okay. Switch your legs. All right. Put your left foot in between his two feet. Uh, got it. Put your left shoulder into the small of his back. Okay. All right. Bend your knees and turn right. Thanks, man. No problem. Your destination, your nationality, and your full name. You gotta stop bending at your waist. Stand up straight, bend your knees and squat. There you go. You gotta loosen up though. You're gonna give yourself a stress headache. The kind of missions I do, they really take a toll on my body. You know, I never know what I'm gonna be doing from one to the next. 
A recent one I had to crouch in a corner for five hours and then I just had to take off at a sprint when my target walked by. But you know, Josh was right there with me the whole time. He helped my muscles stay warm, helped me stay limber, and you know, I actually kind of felt better afterwards. I've been doing this for a few years and I was with the group down in the jungle. We've been there for a while and I prevented several serious muscle strains. We were getting ready to leave when we got attacked. As the crew was trying to get the plane loaded, I was running around reminding them of proper lifting techniques. Things were getting a little bit dicey when one of the engines got hit. I ran over to make sure nobody pulled anything trying to fix it. The replacement part was really heavy and I was worried someone would get hurt putting it in place. I realized I could rig up a pulley system with my traction harness. So I set it up and we got the plane fixed with no injuries. We got the plane started and got out of there just as the enemy stormed the airfield. Of course, my harness got left behind, but the team was so grateful that they wrote me this check to buy a replacement. That was my proudest moment.